What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. Apologies about this this weird voice. I'm I don't know what's wrong. I'm gonna to have to go to the doctor today, but we're gonna give you a quick update hopefully on V1.1.1 um and just go through all the news to give you a bit of a roundup short and sweet and get through it and uh, bring you guys up to date so v1.1.1 dropped today it's a small download file um that you can that you can upgrade uh, your console to or your version of the game to um and when we go over to the official website we get all the information on what v1.1.1 is going to include so we've got a brand new graphic here with all the partner clubs and all the partners and the ambassadors uh, headlined by messi and neymar um we've also got a new list of legends which we'll get into in a second we've got new campaign and we've got a load of new information here so starting us off we've got the three new legends that are added forlan has already been in the game um you know but barry and given are both good players i mean given and barry probably not gonna gonna like change the dial too much but they are the three legendary players once you boost them up and on their b form they're probably going to be good players in that and then there's a little trailer that'll play from the main menu as usual in the actual game itself when the servers are back online so the actual update file itself v1.1.1 is just very kind of vague in what they say they talk about global improvements um, which they change the coloring of the main menu and the in-match prompts and the replay transition animation so if we go over to the actual game here you can see that they have changed it and kind of like they've kind of like um made the, the blue a lot more like subtle and i think it looks a lot nicer it's a lot darker it looks really really you know it looks it just looks way better it doesn't burn the eyes like it was before um they also talk about general fixes applied to mitigate or eliminate the bug shown below the application that was due to that was crashing due to an error and during a match the display may become distorted on the bottom and right hand side of the screen so i'm not too sure if any of you guys had these issues i had one or two of them um where i thought it was my monitor but it actually was an issue here so glad to see they fixed that um They've also introduced and uh, reintroduced the player of the month and player of the week special agent list that you can sign from using nominating contracts. So these were, I think, the first week there was like, remember when Pato and all them were able to be signed uh, for the nominating contracts. So basically on the days that you log in and you don't get eFootball points or you don't get uh, GP uh, for your login bonus, you get what's called as a nominating contract. And once you get them, you're able to go into these uh these player lists and you know without it's not gp or coins or anything like that you basically just use the nominating contracts so there's two star and three star nominating contracts they've also added uh, player of the week national june 16 2022 as well so they've added a new one there um, and you can earn a nominating contract now by completing objectives it says as well so also we get information on how to use eFootball points in case people were kind of missing out on the, on these right uh, these football points or eFootball points so basically you have to link both there's an actual website here the official website that points you in the direction of doing that um, and when we click on that it'll bring us to here the eFootball points program um, and that'll just tell you all of that there how you link your Konami ID um, and then basically how you're actually able to get your points and get your eFootball points for that so that you can use it. So you can link your iOS version or your Android version of the game and uh, have Pez on our eFootball on that. And then obviously you can have your console version as well and have them all linked. So lastly, we've got the additional maintenance. Obviously the servers, if we go over here, the servers are still um, under under uh, underway. The maintenance is still underway. So it should be up in about maybe i think they say here it's about what 10 30 utc so that's usually an hour behind um uk time or gmt uh so yeah 20 minutes from now uh it should be it should be ready to go um but it may be extended so hopefully it's not extended too long and last but not least obviously from last week they do have as they mentioned again the the, the power packs that will be coming so that is it lads that is it for a quick roundup short and sweet and um all the information is there as you say um yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are on it obviously they're going to be changing the gameplay a little bit as well and they say about general fixes and stuff but let me know what you guys think um what the what the story is with the update we'll be back with dream team chronicles quite soon and uh yeah just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and that's that's pretty much it all right peace